All right, what is up? It's your boy bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen. As you know, I just got a brand new truck. It's a 2020 TRD Sport quicksand color. And on my last truck, this never happened, but for some reason, this truck likes to get scratched, and I'm not a fan of having a scratched truck. So I went out and bought some color matching quick fix touch up paint thingamabobber. And well, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix your touch up paint, sort of, okay? Because I've done this once and it didn't come out too good because I was just using like the regular stuff that the bottle comes with and it wasn't the best we're gonna move to the back of the truck i'm gonna show you everything that it comes with and everything you need to make it a proper fix i'm sorry if i'm looking up i just realized i did that whole thing like looking <laughs> up <laughs> so uh i got a new camera and the like display thing is at the top and i'm looking at myself sorry i'll look at you again when i first got this truck we were doing this whole jam right here in this exact same spot and sandy was watching she was kind of the guide and I don't know if you can see that, but these were big scratches. I touched it up and as you can see, like that like blob isn't the best craftsmanship. And I didn't want to do that again because this scratch that I'm about to show you guys was a little bit bigger. Who scratched it? Okay, whatever. There's another one right here that Sandy did. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, that one's smaller than what you did. Where is it? Can you see it? I don't know if I can see it. Okay, you can kind of see it right there. I did all of those repairs with what it actually comes with. So I got a bottle of water, got some soapy water, and then I just used what it actually came with, which is this thing. Hold on, let me not mess up the tailgate. Sorry for the background noise, we're at a park. So this this comes with a pen that like squirts like a million gallons of paint. Okay, okay, it does, I of promise Of course it does. now, it's not going yeah. to. And then it has this brush that's like gigantic. Oh my god, look Dang. how close that was to touching those Okay, um, and that's what I did the first two repairs with and they weren't working out But recently so recently I don't know how we did that but we did and it was like actually getting rusty really fast or I don't know, but Yeah, I did it earlier today with a little bit of a better fix So obviously you're supposed to do this every time you can soapy water to clean it off and then wipe it down with some wet napkins. That's what I did. And then I used, I'm gonna wet this just to get the brush, you know, in the mood, if, if you will. Moist. Nice and moist. One thing I would advise, try to get a good brush. This thing is like from Marshall's, probably like, oh, Michael's. This is like underneath the dollar, dollar menu because this thing starts to leave lint behind and you do not want that in your truck's paint at all. That's a lot more paint than I'm gonna need, but we'll go ahead and do it. You think I can paint my nails with this paint? Probably. Probably not though. That way I can have the same exact color of my nails of the truck. And in between coats, you wanna do like 20 to 30 minutes. I do 30 minutes just to be safe. Try to fill the gap completely and it came out horrible. This is just touch up paint. If it was like a bigger accident, I guess, you know, you'd have to outsource the repair, but it's something small and just looks better than having a big silver hole. And that's pretty much it. Alrighty, so I hope you guys did enjoy. This video is a, you know, a short, quick one, just so, you know, you guys can see how to fix this stuff up. And if it's worth getting that touch-up paint, I think it is for like very minor stuff. That other big stuff, like if I scratch the car from like here to here, it's not gonna cut it. Do it slowly, give it some time to sit, and yeah, as long as you take your time with it, I would recommend getting a different brush. Plane is gonna come right now. That's a helicopter. <laughs> I would recommend getting a finer tip brush. That way you can go like soft and slow into the things and you're not just, you know, using your palm to paint a small dent. But yeah. <coughs> Sorry, give me two seconds. Okay. So yeah, I would recommend a smaller brush, give it some time and take your time while you're doing it and you'll be good to go. It's been your boy, I'm Mario Lacanati. I'll see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>